it appears that the universe has this secret way of allowing for faster than light information transmission, even instantaneous information transmission, but it's able to allow that while at the same time preserving the relativity of simultaneity, uh, which uh, is key, uh, you, you know, the, the speed of information transmission, namely it being limited to the speed of light is essential for there to be relativity. Uh, but so it, it's very interesting that it, it looks like the universe has some mechanism uh, to allow for both to exist, uh, you, you know, a, a relativity of, of simultaneity as well as uh, FTL and even instantaneous information transmission. And, you know, you see uh, the uh, uh, FTL or even uh, instantaneous effects uh, in, in quantum phenomenon like entanglement and quantum tunneling. You know, quantum tunneling, they've actually measured how fast it occurs where a, a particle or a quanta will t quantum tunnel through a barrier. Uh, and it's faster than light. <laughs> you know, so uh, the physicists have measured a phenomenon that's occurring faster than light. Uh, but you, one of the things uh, you will notice if you look at our paper on the Unified Space Memory Network as that we use the terminology uh, quasi-instantaneous information transmission. Uh, and that's because um, we're not suggesting that anything exceed the speed of light. Uh, but if it goes through a particular geometry of space, then it, it can have the effect of seeming to go faster than the speed of light, even though it didn't. Uh, so, you know, different geometries of space, which I think is what Adam was getting at, is that, uh, that, that it's, it allows for uh, the effective instantaneous interaction of uh, systems that should be unable to uh, um, uh, interact except via a non-local mechanism. Uh, so, you know, it's, 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 uh, it's very interesting. And, um, you know, uh, quantum physics itself uh, almost necessitates uh, retrocausal signaling, uh, retrocausal information transmission. Um, there's only a, a few uh, uh, variants uh, of quantum physics that, that don't have retrocausal uh, signaling, but those variants are, are what are, they're called. Uh, they deny realism. Uh, they, they, it, they're, they're called non-realist theories because they say that they're, basically nothing is actually real. <laughs> it's all a superposition, you know, it's, it's all a mathematical object, uh, whatever that means. Uh, but uh, Quantum physics solutions that have realism have retrocausal uh, signaling, and uh, that is what happens when you have faster than light or instantaneous information transmission. Uh, and you know, so that has huge implications. I mean, for for understanding the the, the structure and dynamics of information exchange and entanglement in the universe while preserving relativity, uh, but as well, um, you know, potential mechanisms by which you can transmit information uh, quasi instantaneously, fa faster than the speed of light, which we'll need to do once we start traveling amongst the stars, because uh, although uh, w one of our, our uh, explorer teams might go out uh, several hundred light years, and they're going a, a, a significant fraction of the speed of light, so they get there in three, four years, whatever kind of arbitrary time you want. Uh, it would still take 200 years to send them a signal and get a signal back, unless you had a shortcut. Uh, and it does look like that's possible. Awesome.